A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hooray! It was after sunset when Jeb Harrigan and his grandson unsaddled their horses and turned them into the Circle H Corral. Davy was in high spirits as he walked at the old man's side toward the house. Golly, Grandpa. It was sure fun riding on the roundup. It, it went pretty good, don't you think? Yep. <laughs> we got a lot done for the first day. What's the matter, Grandpa? You look tired. Are you feeling all right? Uh, I'm feeling all right, son. Just a mite tired. Don't you worry about me. I'm <laughs> tough as hickory. You mean old Hickory Jackson? <laughs> that wasn't what I meant, Davy, but it'll do. <laughs> old Hickory was a general, wasn't he? Yep, and a mighty brave one. I bet he wasn't as brave as my dad. Well, I guess you're right at that, Davy. Mom says dad was the bravest man in the army. Yeah. She said that someday I could go to Gettysburg when I get older. Yeah, you ought to be about ready for supper, Davy. I bet you're hungry after the work you did today. I sure am. I'm just about starved. Well, I reckon your mom can take care of that. Well, hello. How did the roundup go? Fine, Mom. Grandpa and I are just about starved. Well, supper's just about ready now, Davy. You and Grandpa go out to the woodshed and get washed up. Oh, all right, Mom. Come on, Grandpa. The sooner we're washed, the sooner we can eat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonder who that can be. Well, Laura. Who are you? What do you want? Take a good look, Laura. <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight and grown some beard. But I reckon you'll remember me if you look hard enough. Instead of stepping out to the porch, Laura, why don't you invite me inside? No. No, you can't come in. Oh, Laura, that's no way to talk to the man you married. I, I thought you were in jail in the East. I was in jail. I was in jail for ten years. I'll give you some food, but you've got to go away. I want more than that, Laura. I want money. But I have no money. 
Ah, this is a mighty prosperous-looking ranch. It belongs to my father. You know that. <laughs> That's all right, Laura. I'll take cash from him. You mean you dare face him after what you did to me? I need money, Laura. But Dad has no money. He will have when he sells his cattle. I'll wait. Now, look, Joe. Listen. I told Davy his father was dead. He thinks you died a hero at Gettysburg. A hero? <laughs> yeah. Laura, I'm... I want to see my son. Oh, no. I have a right to see you him. You have I... no right. You deserted us when Davy was just four years old. You left us to starve so you could go your own outlaw way. Just robbing and killing. It's time he learned the truth about his father. No, no, Joe. It'd break his heart to know you're nothing but a worthless crook. Why, he'd never forgive me for telling him what, what wasn't true. Laura, who... Oh, Dad. Shut the door. Uh, who is this? Daddy. It's Joe. What? So it is. You've got a pile of nerve. Seems to me you and Laura have a lot of nerve, too. What's the idea of telling my son lies about me? Why, you ornery cuss. You should be grateful for what we've said. Laura's tried to raise the boy so he could hold his head up and not be ashamed of his father. It seems to me you ought to be willing to pay a little cash to keep that boy from learning the truth. Well, we're not going to pay you a plug nickel. Now get out of here. Hey, Mom. Hello there, Davy. Who are you? Why, I'm oh, your... Davy, this, uh, this is your, your Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe? <laughs> I'm glad to meet you, son. I never knew I had an uncle. Well, we uh, we haven't heard from him for some time, Davy. He. Uh, <laughs> well... I came to visit your mother and grandpa, Davy. I figured on staying here until the roundup is over. <laughs> The next few days were almost intolerable. Joe lost no opportunity to let Laura and her father know that he would identify himself to his son as soon as his will was opposed. On the third morning, Davy and Jeb were riding on the range to where the cattle branding was in progress. How long is Uncle Joe going to be around, Grandpa? Uh, he'll be here until after roundup. That's only a few days. Where is he going then? Don't you like him? Well, Grandpa... I suppose I should like him if he's Dad's brother. But I... Well, I'll bet my dad wasn't anything like him. Yeah, we'd better ride a little faster, Davy. I'll sure be glad when Uncle Joe is gone. We got a late start this morning, son. We've got quite a ways to travel. How is it Mom never spoke of Uncle Joe? Hey, come on, Dave. We let these horses out. Get up there! Get up! Come on, get up there! <laughs> this is the way to travel! Gramp, look out that hollow! Oh, oh, there! Oh, look out! Oh, oh, oh. oh whatever. Grandpa, Grandpa, oh. Grandpa, oh. are you hurt bad? It's my leg. Golly, you've had an awful spill. How about the horse? I guess he's all right. He's getting up. But golly, what about you? Here, here let me help you, Grandpa. Maybe I can help you stand up. Uh, no, no, son. I, I'm afraid my leg is busted. Oh, 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 Grandpa, oh, 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 an Indian in a mask. You had a bad fall. We saw it. You get away from here. We don't want any help from outlaws. No, take it easy, Davy. I would better have a look at this man's leg. Ah. Uh, I can tell you it's busted, mister. Oh, are you from the Circle H? Yeah. But you, who are you? He's an outlaw, Grandpa. That's why he's wearing a mask. I'm not an outlaw. But even if I were, I'd try to help you. If you could get me aboard my horse, maybe I can make the house... It's not far. Todd and I'll get you to the house. I'll help, Grandpa. You'd better ride on ahead, son. If we're going to fix your grandfather's leg. We'll need some bandages and splints. Now, me fix splint now. Yes, Toto. You better bind that leg so we can carry him. Ah. Hey, Davy, you go on ahead like the man said. All right, Grandpa. As soon as Toto fixes a temporary splint, I'll carry you on silver with me. Silver? Yes, my horse. Oh. I'll tell Mom you're coming, Grandpa. Oh, all right, Davy. Get up there. Well, how about it, Toto? Well, it looked like clean break. Maybe me fix it all right. Uh, say, mister, 
You said you weren't an outlaw. Yes, that's the truth. You called your horse Silver, and you called that Indian Tonto. Yes. Well, if I'm right in what I think about you, I'm downright glad you've come. I don't know of anyone else that might be able to help us. The Lone Ranger and Tonto heard all about Jeb Harrigan's problem before they left the old man at his home. They rode away without making any promises, but Jeb hoped that the mysterious masked man might find a way to deal with Joe. There now, Dad. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, no, Laura. I reckon that masked man did everything. And I'm going to see that you do just as he said. Stay off your feet for a long time. But Dad read it, Laura. The cattle, the roundup has got to be finished. Don't worry about it, Jeb. I'll handle it. Does, Does Uncle Joe know how to handle a roundup? I learned about it a long time ago, Davy. I think your grandpa will be glad to have me handle things. Curly can handle them. He's my foreman. I said I'd handle it. <laughs> you uh, don't have any objections, do you? Well, no. Not if you're set on it. I'm set on it. I'll go along and help the same as I helped Grandpa. Oh, no. No, Davy, you Why better... not, Laura? <laughs> it might be a good thing if Davy and I got better acquainted. <laughs> The roundup proceeded smoothly with Joe in charge. He kept Davy at his side, and for the past two nights, the two had remained in camp on the range. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were camped on a ridge from which they could see the campfire. The roundup is almost completed, Tonto. Tomorrow's the last day. Um, then drive start? Yes. Day after tomorrow, the herd will be started for the railroad. Joe do a good job with the roundup. I, I'm wondering, Tonto... If there's any connection between that rumor we heard and the fact that Joe came here. Well, we not see any sign of cattle thief. Not yet, but we couldn't expect to. Thieves won't strike until the herd is ready. Well, that's right. This is a good location for cattle thieves to operate. Only two miles to the pass and the border is just beyond. You think thief wait there? It's possible. There are plenty of men with Circle H. That's what I don't understand, Otto. Cowboys will be on guard every minute. Rustlers would have a hard time of it. Unless they could lure the cowhands away. Oh. How them do that? I don't know, Toto. Kimasabi. Yes. Me see boy down there, but not see Joe. I've been wondering about him. I wonder if Joe's left Davy alone in camp. Me not know. You stay here, Toto, and keep an eye on the boy. Steady, Silver. Um where you go? I'm going to ride toward the pass and see if I can find any sign of Joe. He's a steady big fella. More silver! At that moment, the man who posed as Davy's uncle reined up at the side of a hard-looking man about one mile south of the camp. Oh, ho there, ho for ho! You finally got here. I've been waiting. Easy there. <clears throat> I got here as soon as I could, Trigger. How's the roundup going? It's nearly finished. Cattle drive will start in about 36 hours. Morning after tomorrow. Right. Morning. That means we've got to hit it right away if we're going to do anything. The sooner the better. You sure you can unload the cattle south of the border? No, that's not what worries me. What does worry you? An awful lot of cow hands on the Circle H payroll. Don't like to tackle that many men. Uh-huh, don't worry about that. You won't have to. Why? I've got a plan that'll draw all those men away and leave the cattle practically unprotected. Now you're talking, Joe. What's your plan? You've scouted the camp, haven't you? Sure. You've seen that boy? Jeb's grandson? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen him. What about him? We're going to use him to get all the cow hands away from the cattle. Now listen to me, Trigger. I'll tell you just what you're to do. Yeah? You're to ride into camp and take a message to Davy. We'll use the kid as bait to draw the Circle H riders away from the cattle. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. After searching for some time, the Lone Ranger returned to the hill where he had left Tonto to watch the round-up camp of the Circle H Ranch. Oh, sir, how about you? See anything in joke, Mr. Harvey? Is he still living caught? So, Tonto, did he return to the camp? No, him not come back, but other fella come. Who? Man come in, few minutes go. Him talk to boy. To Davy? That right. And then them right way. Who was the other man? Well, me not know. How long ago did Davy leave with him? Just a few minutes. Oh, which way did they go? That way. Go to pass. Tighten your cinch, Toto. Uh, We're going to keep track of Davy. Uh, uh, cinch tight. Uh, me ready. Easy, big fella. Come on, then. Get him up, scout. Uh, uh, Up here, kid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, look here, mister. What's my uncle doing in a gully like this? Now, just take it easy, kid. Where is he? I don't see him around here. Well, don't get too anxious. Just get off that horse. <sighs> I don't understand. You're acting mighty strange. Why did Uncle Joe send you to get me? Ah, don't get scared. I'm not scared. But... Hey, what are you going to do with that rope? Sorry, kid. you got to be tired. <laughs> like fun, Take I will. Take it easy now. I don't want to hurt you. Stand still so I can put this rope around you. You can't get away with this. Curly and the cow ends will find you. So will Uncle Joe. No one's going to find you till I say so. And if you don't stop squirming, they'll never find Let you. Let me go. Boy, Take your hands off. Sarned little wild cat. Oh, oh, what the... Get away from that boy. It's a mask, man. You come geared for trouble. I did. No. Good God. Bring in the horses, Toto. Come, Scott. Come on, you. Get to your feet. You're going to answer some questions. No, wait. Wait a minute. He came into camp and said my uncle had sent him to get me. And that's the truth. Where's Joe now? Look, mister, here's all I can say. I got friends near here, and they got their plans all made. They'll kill me if I tell you. They will. Huh? Oh, God. Come on, on your feet again. Now, look, please. That's just a sample of what you're going to get if you don't talk. I'm here looking for rustlers. They're the friend you spoke of? I... Are they? Now, wait, don't hit me again. Where's Joe? He, he's back in camp by this time. He's working with you and the rustlers, huh? Yeah. My my Uncle Joe working with rustlers? Oh, no. Let's have the rest. But I haven't Talk. got... The... Well, Joe wanted the boy moved away from camp, so it's all the cow hands to go out looking for him. And leave the cattle unprotected. Is that it? Yeah. They'll, they'll steal all Grandpa's cattle. They'll break them. You're too late to do anything about it. By this time, Joe sent the Circle H men off on a wild goose chase. And that herd will be south of the border before you or anyone else can get the riders moved over to cut it off. Are the cattle to be taken to the pass? Yeah, you'd like to know, wouldn't you, mister? Yes, and I'm going to Now, know. wait a minute, wait a minute. How about it? Well, now, wait, don't hit me. Yes, cattle's going through the pass. Give me that rope, baby. Well, what are you going to do? Tie you up. Well, no, I talked. You can't tie me now. No! no. I should make tying you a lot easier. Golly. You've knocked them out cold. Davy, you're going to ride with me. You've got to try to cut the cattle off before it gets through the pass. Toto, you've got to locate the Circle H men and bring them to the pass to help uh, us. Me find them. There, that'll hold this outlaw for the time being. Get aboard your horse, Davy. Yes, sir. Get going, Toto. Uh, get off, scout. Easy, big fella. Follow me, Davy. One fiddle Moose Jackson, another member of the group of cattle thieves, rode with Joe at the head of the close-packed herd, while the rest of the outlaws held the cattle together as it was moved toward the pass. Neither Joe nor Moose knew that their partner, Trigger, had been captured. We reach the pass in a little while, Joe. How much farther? About a mile. Are you sure the breed will give us protection once we're over the border? We can count on it. This renegade army needs meat bad. They'll get meat as long as they can pay for it. They'll pay, and they'll pay plenty. And keep those critters close. You and Trigg will have to admit I handled this pretty slick. <laughs> yeah, you sure did, Joe. <laughs> I wish you could have seen the way Curly and all the other cowhands lit out when they found that Davy was gone from camp. Trigg will see that the tracks they follow take him a long way from the pass. Yeah. How did you get out of it, Joe? Get out of what? Didn't Curly and the others think it was funny you didn't ride with them to find Davy? <laughs> I made out that my horse was lame. I told him I'd catch up as soon as I got a fresh horse saddle. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slick. Hey, look ahead, Joe. There's the entrance to the pass. Once we're through there, we're in the clear. Yeah. Once through there, and the old man can kiss the Circle H cows goodbye for keeps. The 
Lone Ranger and Davy made their way down the steep, rock-strewn sides of the pass and guided their horses along the floor toward the narrow opening on the north. Oh, sir. Oh, boy. Oh, Easy. Steady, big fella. Hit the ground, Davy. Leave your horse behind those rocks. Yes, sir. Come on, boy. Steady. Steady. Easy, Silver. If I had a gun, I could help you fight. Davy, if bullets start flying, I want you to keep your head down. Don't come out from behind the rock. Look. Look up there ahead. There comes the cattle. Yes, I see them. Let me borrow one of your guns. Let me help stop them. You can't stand off all those crooks alone. That's a narrow opening, Davy. If we can break up the point of that cattle drive, we may be able to delay things until Tono gets here with some help. Well, they're getting awful close. Yeah. Who's that riding alongside of Uncle Joe? That's Moose Jackson. He's been wanted for cattle stealing for a long time. I knew there was something ornery about Uncle Joe. Mom didn't like him, and neither did Grandpa. Yes, I know. I, I don't see how you can ever stop those critters. They're coming awful fast. Davy, I'm going to try to drop the leading steers at the opening. The ones directly behind should fall over them. If we can just pile up enough beef to block that opening, we'll cut those thieves off. Now, when I start shooting, keep your head down. Are you going to shoot with both hands? I'll open fire in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Pull the side so the cattle goes through ahead of us. Right. Hey, what's that? Shoot. Someone's in there. Oh, hold that. Hold that. Oh. Get down, Moose. They're knocking down the cattle. They're trying to stop us. Drive those critters through. Stampede them. Don't let them stop. Moose. Moose, that's Davy. Huh? It's a kid. Are you crazy? It can't be. Trigger's got him. Get back, you mavericks. Go on back, or the masked man will drop every one of you. It is, Davy, I tell you. I know his voice. He's behind that rock. I'll get around the side and drill him. No, you don't. Wait, let go of my arm. Give me that gun, Moose. Let go, I tell you. If you don't stop that gun firing the gap, the entrance will be blocked by fallen cattle. There. You. Now I'll get him. No, no, Moose, don't shoot. Call it off. Turn the cattle to the side. I can't let you kill that boy. What's the matter with you? He's my son. What? Your son? Yeah. If he's got nerve enough to stand up to all you critters, I'm going to back his flag. Like blazes you are. If you think the pack of us are going to jail because of your son, you're loco. I'll no, show you. don't. Why, you... Oh. No, Why, it's... you, I'll show you. We... We'll see. Wait. Wait, you junkhead. Listen. Oh! Piled up cattle blocked the entrance and temporarily turned the herd to one side. But the outlaws were determined to dispose of the masked man and the boy so they could move the fallen cattle and go through the pass to safety. I don't want to kill any of those men. But they're outlaws. It's up to the law to punish them. We can just hold them off until Tuttle returns with your grandfather's Look, gun. We'll be... up there on the bank, it's Uncle Joe. He's coming down here. Yes, I see him. He, he's hurt. Hold your fire, mister. I'm already hit hard. You dirty crook. You were working with those thieves. I, I was. That's right, Davy. I, I didn't think it was you doing all this shooting. Who are you, mister? I'm Davy's friend. That's more than can be said for you. If you, if you give me a gun, I, I'll help. I, I'm on Davy's side now. Oh, gosh. Keep down, Davy. That shot came close. I got Moose. He, he shot me, but I got him. I figured to get around to the side and shoot you both. You're badly hurt. Let her lie down there. No, I, I want to fight. I, I want to fight by Davy's side. I, oh, gosh. Is he dead? He's badly wounded, Davy. Look out there. It's your friend. How does bringing Curly and the cowboys? Look at him come. Oh, golly, look at him shoot. They'll take care of those cattle thieves. Yes, they will. They're throwing down their guns. They're giving up. They're surrendering. Oh, gosh, mister. You saved Grandpa's cattle. More important than that, Davy. Moose was in a position to close in on us. This man you call Uncle Joe saved your life. He, he's opening his eyes, Dad. The masked man said he might get conscious before he cashed in his chips. I never thought I'd see the day when you and me would be at Joe's side while he was dying. Oh. Oh, Davy. Joe. What? Laura. You are... Where am I? Your dad's home, Joe. 
The masked man brought you here. Davia. He's out in front of the house. Oh. Flora, I, I've been no good. I, I've been worthless. The masked man told us how you saved Davy's life and Dad's cattle. I, I had to do it, Laura. That, that boy, he, he was there fighting hopeless odds. I, I, I was proud of him. Right then, I, I wanted nothing more than to be on his side. What? Where are you going, Dad? Here, just a minute. Uh, Davy, come in here a minute, will you? How's Uncle Joe? Well, he's conscious. I reckon he'd like to see you. Gosh, Uncle Joe, I... I was just talking to that masked man. What did he tell you, Davy? He said Uncle Joe had turned out to be just as brave as you told me my father was. <laughs> he told you that, son? Yeah. Gosh, Uncle Joe, I... I'm sorry I acted like I did when you first came here. So am I, son. I, I'm sorry for the way I acted, but I... I guess it's all right now. <coughs> yeah, I, I guess it's all right now. Yeah, I reckon he's gone, Laura. Mom, why did he keep calling me son? <laughs> I guess, Davy, it, it was because he once had a boy like you. Laura, I'm going to step out in front and tell the Lone Ranger that Joe is gone. I reckon I can tell him he died smiling. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 